Welcome again, everyone. If you've not figured out what we're building here, it's uh, some heavy trailer ramps for the old gooseneck that is has been done for a while now, but just now finally getting around to building the ramps that were supposed to be on it originally. Before we get into this, let's go talk about what we got going on here. So these were the original ramps that came on this trailer, and they were never supposed to be on here, but I needed to use these, so therefore we threw them on here to get by, and by need, I mean we needed to go pick up the international over here so they were just got thrown on here temporarily in case i needed to use it and i knew i was going to build ramps it just took me a minute to get to this point so my biggest complaint i guess with these is that the spacing on here is just too far apart so i think it's it's probably about a foot spacing on the cross members and it's okay for bigger stuff but like a s small car or golf cart or I, I got my lawnmower I couldn't even get up this thing because of the uh, the wheels would fall right in it I'd have to get it rotted up the edge of it or put some plywood or something down on it to even get it up there but my plan is to build them we're gonna have deck boards running um, with the ramps so it'll be smooth from the ground all the way up to basically here this will be the only lift that we got to get over um, but we'll talk about the new ramps in a second it's been a while since we've had a video about this trailer and it's been done for a little while now. And if you remember last video, I asked you guys to guess your weight of the trailer. See how much, who got, who could get the closest to uh, guessing the weight of this trailer. We've actually got two winners. We've got two that guessed the same weight. So here's what the trailer weighs. 4380, truck and trailer, just the truck, me, the dog, the wife, fuel, all, all that goes with that. And... I don't even know if this is in focus or not, but Mr. J.C. Smith, we've got 43.50, and Mr. Seth Fisher, you guys both guessed the same weight, and you all are the closest, so I said if you guys, or whoever could guess closest or spot on, I'll send you a t-shirt and sticker, so send me an email, let me know, um, let me know who you are, and get back. I'll get back with you, but yeah, Seth Fisher and Mr. J.C. Smith, if you guys want to T-shirt, sticker, let me know. So one of the flaws we've got on the trailer back here is I did not put the pivot up high enough on the mounts I made for the trailer. So we're always gonna be left with this here kind of step up or step down from, from the ramp. It, should, it hasn't been a problem so far, it shouldn't be a big deal, but it's something that in hindsight, I should have changed or should have looked in it. I figured I could make it up in the ramp um, by dropping that pin down, but I don't want the ramps, I want them to, sit you know vertical or slightly forward so that way i don't have to kind of hold it up while i grab the chain and put in it and all that so um we're just going to make it how this is um it will definitely be better because as I, I think i already said we're going to put boards on the on the ramp so it'll be um, a smooth transition until you get to from ramp to the trailer but there won't be all these these dips in it and um the spacing won't be obviously that far apart because there'll be boards on it and here are said ramps um i'm gonna have two two bites side by side here they'll recess down in this and that's how that's gonna go i got a piece of two inch pipe here um, this is about inch and a half is what we got on maybe an inch and a quarter is what's on the uh for the pivot pin right now and it fits in there not tight but i don't want it to be super snug and to have them bind up eventually so I'm going to cut a piece of this off. I don't know if I want to do all the way across or just have a piece on either side. I don't know yet, but I'm going to cut some, probably some half inch plate and kind of reinforce the outside of this on each side or not on the outside, but kind of a piece to reinforce just a little ways here, come out and capture uh, the, the pipe running across here. And then other than that, we just got to put a couple feet on here. Um, I'm not gonna add braces like the other ramps are. The last trailer I had didn't have them and I never had a problem with them. So I'm not gonna worry about that. But we just gotta add some braces, place for the chains to mount, and my tag is going on the on the driver driver side ramp. So I just gotta make sure I add a little piece of plate or something to um, so I can mount the tag to it. So I'm gonna get working on that and 
we'll see what we get accomplished. We're gonna finish this project completely in this video. I just don't know how much I'm gonna do tonight. Um, still gotta paint it and do all that. Uh, so this is gonna be over the course of a few days, but it'll be all one video for you all. So let's get back to work. Ramps are pretty much wrapped up here other than painting them. And I'm gonna paint them here in a little while, hopefully. Um, I've kind of got two projects going on into one right now, but uh, I'm gonna start on another one. Let these stay here. Hopefully it doesn't rain this afternoon, but I'm gonna start on the next project because I need to paint both of them. So I might as well do it at the same time. But got the little chain holder brackets cut out. Um, hopefully those will work pretty well, look a lot better. Got them. Um, they they're they are a little bent just because i'm matching the angle of the channel and then um got a little reinforcement there so hopefully they hold up for us don't bend up um they all look pretty pretty decent uh but yeah i'm going to start on the next project now since as i said i got more than one going on right now so we'll be painting these here in a little while well i picked a not so good day to do this but Seems like every evening's been a little breezy here, but we're finally getting these ramps painted up. Um, I figured the easiest way to do it would be to put them on here and put the chain in it and kind of prop them up so we can get most of the way around it. I very uh, briefly taped off the lights and we're just gonna go for it. Again, these are gonna get beat up no matter what we do to them, so don't really care, just want them to, uh, to match. That's why I've just got a tarp on the deck um we get some overspray here so what but before we get into that we've got some uh parts here to unbox and show off so vivor sent us out a spray gun kit um that i'm going to be using on this trailer here and we've got two of the same i think two of the same pots um 
And then what do we have here? Got a little tiny guy. Regulator. Let's see. Inline filter, dryer, brushes. That's cool. Send you all the ready quick connects for it. Teflon, regulator, tiny. Got our wrenches for taking the guns apart then. And then I'm assuming in here we've got three, three guns. I can get them out. One, two, three. I uh, don't really know. I think the only difference in the two big ones is the tip size. So this is a, this orange one's a 1.4. We've got, the little one is a 1.0. And then this one is a 1.8. Very, that's pretty large for what we're doing, I think. So I'm gonna go with the 1.4 for what we're doing here. And I'm gonna get these set up. And we'll mix up some paint, start spraying, see how this works out. So we got this one here put together. This is the one we're gonna be uh, using here for probably both uh, primer and paint. But got the regulator on it. We'll adjust that once we get some pressure to it and should work out just fine thanks to vivor for sending it out for uh so we can try this thing out i have always wanted a small guy like this for a little touch-up so we'll try that out sometime in the future as well but anyhow i'm gonna get some paint mixed up and just start going to town Well, I would have to say that that went better than all the other uh, times I tried to paint this thing. Worked out pretty uh, pretty good. Um, I'm gonna have to touch up some places, uh, you know, with a rattle can here, or there, or whatnot. But overall, gonna let it dry for a day or two. Throw some boards on it, and this thing will be ready to uh, go pick up some more projects we don't need. Well, to say that this trailer's done would be a lie because there's definitely some more things to add to here. Um, at some point here in the near future, hopefully I want to add a winch to it and uh, I also need to add a toolbox or something so I can put some straps in. But as far as the trailer being done and usable, ramps turned out pretty good. Um, not too bad. I like the way they look. They, you know, match the trailer if you want to say that. Um, but other than that, last thing I do have to do is I got to get um, some tag lights in here. I've got the I got them already pre-wired underneath here. I just got to more or less run a wire up there and drill a couple holes and put my uh, lights in for the tag. So, but other than that, I guess uh, that's gonna do it for this here video. Turned out all right. Um, paint job, you know, you know my skills. They're not uh, they're not great at painting. So, 
But thanks to Vivor for sending those uh, paint guns out and definitely be using those on future projects. With all that being said, appreciate y'all watching and we will see you on the next video. Thanks guys. Last little tidbit, um, one of the upcoming projects for sure is gonna be the this truck here and I'm just gonna leave it at that. But hopefully maybe in the next few weeks to a month or so, um, we're gonna be getting uh, we're gonna be getting some stuff done on this truck here. So watch out for that. Again, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.